I think the home is special because you can really shut out a lot of the noise. You know, the world is a really noisy place with a lot of competing voices. But when it's your home, you get to decide which voices are going to be let in. Me and Debbie talked about having things for kids or anyone to do in each room. Just engage with each other more. I know it's tough in this world now. Everything's so easy to just plug in online and forget about it, but to just have the have the house set up so it's nice and open and yeah, encourage people to connect. Having all their school stuff in one spot with their backpacks and their lunch pails ready to go really helps with our morning routine. So I do love this and having it right next to the garage. What do you guys think? My mom was just, she would love anybody. She would give attention and love and care to anybody and help anybody. And so um, a lot of people would come to our house. Um, a lot of kids would come over to play. And she didn't mind chaos. Um, our house, you know, each of us could have a friend over. It could be really loud and chaotic. And my mom was really patient. She never would mind that kind of thing, so. I would say hard work from my mom. She's like, was born in South Korea. And she like, just has a different mindset. Like anything she puts her hands on, she'll work harder than anyone else to accomplish it. Jonathan and I really both try to be equally engaged with and available to our kids. So it's not like, you know, mom does these things, dad does these things. We do a lot of our stuff just as a whole family unit. Having things for kids or anyone to do in each room that kind of like bring people together. We've really tried to create a home that there's like a real partnership in how we, how we do family and how we, you know, how we parent our kids. That's the space. It just feels like the desk that we got from, for school. <laughs> yeah, it does a little bit, huh? You do homework on your Yeah, I love to have, um, I love to have people over and I love to set out like large trays with lots of snacks and there's lots of space for that. Family life before was kind of like fun. There's always like a ball in a room or video games here, or board game here, where it's easy just to pick up and play with someone and have a good time and like connect that way instead of all off in a corner doing our own things. How, how important is that to you, to have that? I think it's the most important. And that's when you have like the best conversations or I know for me and my kids are this way too. If you sit them at a table and ask them how their day was or, or like what's wrong, they kind of mumble and they won't give you the answer. But when you're playing something fun, a video game or a board game and you ask questions, they really open up a lot more. A home to me is a place where everybody can really feel comfortable just being who they are. You know, a home is a place where our kids uh, can develop and learn, opportunity to connect with our spouse. You can fill your house with the love you want. You don't have to take like bad things from your past or things that were forced upon you that you didn't create or ask for. Really early on, we um, the fact that like he's totally fine having the baby in our room and um, wants the kids to have, you know, be comfortable with the space, you know, in his office, I just think speaks volumes to the kids that like, this is their home. It's not like this is your room and this is where you can have your stuff that they really feel like um, they belong anywhere, you know, in our home. Know who you're living with, know your kids, you know, have those conversations every day. Not let too much time pass before you like know someone's schedule or what they're doing. Like. Every day, you know, we're just living life together.